Our neighbor in Fredericton has a bylaw that's much more full restricting activities like uh, golf. I, the generality is, is an activity in a park likely to harm others? That could be golf, it could, definitely it's archery, it could be frisbee throwing, it could be a number of activities that disturb your quiet enjoyment of the park and they are regulated. There are four regulations on the use of parks now in Moncton. And there are things like you can't set a fire in the park without a permit. You can't camp overnight. You can't throw garbage everywhere. Those are reasonable restrictions. We're just asking that we become a little more um, adept to apparent use of parks that we, as reasonable people, might not contemplate, but other people might. I'm here to support Fred Lindemar. Fred has uh, done a lot of uh, active uh, protection for the downtown urban forests and uh, just downtown living in general. And uh, I've been listening to this ongoing golf story over the last couple of months and uh, I, I just find it's absolutely unacceptable to have such, a, such an activity which becomes a very dangerous activity going on in one of Moncton's downtown public spaces. I think it's just a simple case of uh, helping the city council uh, add some things to their bylaw. It's only been 2002 since this was updated. At the time, it didn't seem reasonable. Now there's an event that occurred that clearly, clearly needs to be responded to, along with a lot of, um, you know, other activities that, if you think about it, you don't want to have in your public uh, places. Um, down the road, I think Mr. Latimer's that's the general concern. Mr. Latimer's specific concern is the level of response and the level of protection. In other words, could this have been avoided uh, had the previous notices by residents uh, been reacted to perhaps with a little more uh, leisure de main, if you like. And that's all I'd say on that part. Today it's just about trying to get a, a meeting before City Council suggest some bylaws. I've spoken to the city solicitor on this and uh, there's no us and them in this. This is just about trying to help work, work modernize through. the bylaw. That's all. If they want to perceive my videos as reality, that's serious. their opinion, but when I made those videos, it was Oh, this was the woman that chased me with uh, the camera and chased my son. This is a woman I, mean, I thought I did a good job. Thing. If those people could believe that that's all reality, then I did a good job because that's what I was trying to get that video to act as, but it wasn't. And then the lied, fact huh? is that that video was never reality. Those videos are edited by me, scripted. It's filmed. So have you got the message that people don't want you golfing here? Or will you will you stop? Uh, if I feel that that many people are feeling that they're in jeopardy, I absolutely will go. So you're not saying you will, you said you will. Well, if that many people are feeling that they're for that word, I'm part of this community as well as everyone else. And I'm not looking to harm anyone or have anyone feel uncomfortable in this park. This park, this park, this park, this park when I was three years old. I mean, you were saying, my father right here. So if this hadn't happened with Mr. Liedemer, do you think you'd still be out every day doing your golf like you have been since the summer? Well, I love golf and uh, it's one sport that yeah, I have health issues and this is one of the sports that doesn't affect it. And just to clarify, it's a, a world record in juggling the golf ball, bouncing the ball on the club, is that what you Yes, that's correct. Okay. Yes, yes. As far as putting people's lives in danger, that was never my intent, nor would I ever want to put anyone's lives in danger, young or old. And if anyone feels that it's, it's that much of a danger, if they would come up and watch me and realize that I do take due care, and, this incident happened in July. Uh, staff have been looking at a variety of, of bylaws across the country. I mean, obviously today, you know, Victoria, Burlington, Ottawa are pointed out as having been revised to, to take into consideration some of the changes in the uses of parks. And I think the city takes it seriously. Could we have done a better job communicating? Probably. This is unfortunate. It, it's really more than just your casual person golfing. It, it really has more to do with you know, if you've looked at any of the videos and so on, that these this is more of an exception than to the rule. But obviously, you know, as council, you know, and as a matter of process, we probably need to look at our bylaws on a more regular basis. And and for this one, you know, we'll we'll see what uh, what we can do. That. I don't know so much about the incident because I wasn't here. I didn't 
see what happened. Um, I know somebody was assaulted. It's never a good thing for anybody to be assaulted. Uh, nobody should have their hands put on them, that's for sure. And I agree with that. Nobody should be assaulted. Um, as far as everything else that's going on, uh, it's a matter of people not liking his golf and not liking golf in the park because they don't think it's safe. Um, and it got to the point where I guess the city and everyone couldn't do, couldn't stop him. So residential people started taking matters into their own hands and figured they would try to stop him by stealing his golf clubs, coming here and throwing golf clubs at him, um, coming here and yelling at him. And, you know, it just got to the point where he was trying to stand up for his rights to be able to golf in a park and do a recreational sport. And it just became a nuisance. And now this happened. So, I don't know what to say about everything. It's a, it's a difficult situation. It's hard because I feel like I'm kind of in the middle because yeah. I don't agree with him assaulting somebody. I don't agree with that at all. Um, but I mean, he's also my boyfriend and we also have kids on the way. Yeah. So, it's like I kind of have to support him. Yeah. But I don't agree with what happened, no. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.